If you have received an introduction to SOAP UI or a slight idea, it's always wise to check about the questions that are normally asked regarding a specific topic. So let's take a look at the SOAP UI frequently asked questions. These are very basic questions asked by frequent users. When should I use SOAP UI? Use it when you are developing or discovering web service clients or implementations and need a tool to test them interactively and or create functional and low tests that can be run in a continuous integration environment. What can't I do with SOAP UI? Some of the more obvious missing features are WSDL authoring and WS security support. Does SOAP UI work with any web service technology? SOAP UI is platform agnostic. You can use it for web services created with .NET, J2EE, Perl, PHP, and etc. The only requirements on your web service are that they have a defining WSDL, that they are bound with the SOAP HTTP binding, and that they do not use SOAP encoding if you want to do validations. Now for some general SOAP UI usage questions. How do I save the changes I make to my projects, requests, test cases, and so forth? SOAP UI automatically saves everything on exit. If you want to save your projects without exiting, for example, if you want to commit your project file to CVS, use the Save All option in the main file menu. Now for some scripting questions. What languages are supported? Simply stated as Groovy and JavaScript. What is Groovy? Because this sounds a little funky. It's a scripting language which is very or almost near completely similar to Java. What are SOAP UI structures and functional tests? SOAP UI structures functional tests into three levels. Test suites, test cases, and test steps. A test suite is a collection of test cases that can be used for grouping functional tests into logical units. Any number of test suites can be created inside a SOAP UI project to support massive testing scenarios. A test case is a collection of test steps that are assembled to test some specific aspect of your service. You can add any number of test cases to a containing test suite and even modularize them to call each other for complex testing scenarios. Test steps are the building blocks of functional tests in SOAP UI. They are added to a test case and use control the flow of execution and validate the functionality of the service to be tested. What is test steps? Test steps are the core building blocks of functional tests in SOAP UI. Each test step performs some step for validating the functionality to be tested. The test steps are by default executed sequentially, but several possibilities exist for branching, looping, and even calling other test cases, making complex testing possible when required. What is data-driven testing? Quite simply put, data-driven testing is when you store test data, like input, expected output, etc., in some external storage, like a database, a spreadsheet, or even an XML file and then use that data iteratively in your tests when running them. For example, to test your phone lookup service, you might have a list of names and expected phone numbers in a database, which you would use to drive your test, checking that each name gets the right phone number back. It's really quite simple. What is mocking? Service mocking or simulation is the practice of creating a facsimile environment that works similar to the current environment you are working with. Basically, it's all in the word mock, like to replicate. Mocking is also called isolation, simulation, or virtualization. But those, those are terms basically created to move the lowly practice of mocking higher into value chain. So for all purposes, isolation, simulation, and virtualization are the same as mocking, just much more expensive. Let's call it mocking and move on to the users of it. When do I use mocking? Simple, you should use mocks when you can't use the real thing. Of course, it's not that easy when you look into it more carefully. What is a security test? 
A security test is used in SOAP UI to scan your target services for common security vulnerabilities, like for example, SQL injections and XML bombs. Security tests are layered on top of an existing test case to which it then applies a configurable number of security scans, which perform the actual vulnerability scanning and detection.